In this code.org lesson, we're learning more about variables, like x plus 1 equals 3. Well, x would then be equal to 2. Code has variables just like math does. Let's dive right in. Let's start the section by drawing a triangle 150 pixel sides. Be sure to use the length variable and a repeat loop, okay? So one block in my workspace and I can use up to nine. So they told me to use a variable. So let me see here, variable set length and 150 sides. Okay, so, so I'll set it to the length of the side now and a repeat loop. So that should be easy enough. But just to start out, I can take a look. I'm going to move forward. How much length? Well, how much is that? 150. Then what? Okay, well, I'm going to turn left. Mm, let's see. That's looking good. Then what? Okay, well, then I'm going to need to turn left again and move forward. And if I want to face the same direction as I did when I started, I would need to turn left again. Now look at this. This is why they're telling us to use a repeat. Don't repeat yourself in code. This is the same. All of that. Get rid of that. And a loop we have. Done. Onward. We build the triangle from the last set length block to reset the length variable to length plus 10 at the end of each loop. Okay, the first one's 50. Okay, so we can do that. We have our variables here, set length to, and it said, first one's 150. And so we know there's going to be a loop. Triangle has three sides, and we're going to draw. How far are we going to draw? Length. What is length equal to? 150. So the computer hits this and says, move forward length. Oh, move forward 150. Then what are we going to do? Well, just like we did last time, we're going to need to turn 120. And now we're going to loop this three times. However, this time we want to change. We're making each side a little bit longer. So I'm just going to follow their example here. I'm going to make sure though to put this inside of my loop because I want it to change each time we draw the side. If I put it down here, it would never run till the very end of the program and all the sides would be the same. So length is going to be equal to whatever length used to be equal to. It kind of looks weird, but that's how we do it. Plus 10. Oh, it will be 150, then 160, and 170. Bam. All right, time to make some artwork. See what happens when you repeat the code 30 times, the last puzzle, instead of three. Feel free to make any... Okay, so, ooh, 30 times. Whoa, that's pretty cool. And notice it can keep changing because it's a variable, so we don't need a ton of extra code. Before we were using variables, we would have to input each of these numbers. So however many times, it goes up by 10 each time, and it does that 30 times. So we would have to have this 30 times, so we could say instead of length plus 10, each time we would have to say the actual length. So 150, then 160, then 170, all of those lines of code. Now it said we can change the color of the pattern. It, I'm using 13 out of 13 blocks, but if I did want to do that, I could just throw set a pattern, and I can do it up here, because I don't need to do that inside of my loop. But since we're already using the 13 blocks, I'll mess with this later. All right. Here, what happens when you start out with a length less than 150? What if you multiply your variable by one point? Wow. Oh, we can use infinity blocks? That's pressure. Okay. So what if I start out? I'm going to use some of their examples. 110. And then what if I multiply your variable by 1.25 each time through? Okay. So down here. I'm going to do this. Multiply. I'll take their suggestion. And you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to demo what they have. Whoa. That's kind of crazy. Um, what if I do? I might do something smaller than 0, 5. And then what will you do if your code turn? Not a clue. Let's see. Oh, I love that. Okay. And then we have infinity blocks. I got to do this. Oh, I'm going to do random. And then each time I draw a line, it should have a different color. That's so awesome. Onward. Free play. Take what you learned and make your own drawing. How can you use variables, pentagons, hexagons? Okay, I'm going to mess with this and I'll explain it at the end. Ta-da! This is mine. So what did I did? A lot of stuff. To a repeat over all of this, I set my length to 10. And then I six times over draw this initial kind of weird shape that is changing up kind of how a square looks. I'm multiplying length by 1.5 each time. Then I reset length to 25, a small amount, and loop through drawing 41 lines that end up being that weird square. Once I do all that, I hit the bottom here. I turn left, draw sticker, and then I go back up here, reset length to 110, and draw the similar shape. Love it. I hope yours is really cool too. Onward.